Greetings to all. I am Dr. Sendil Kumar. Today we are going to discuss about alopecia areata. Many of the peoples around the world, male and female, who are suffering with alopecia areata. Alopecia areata means a round patchy hair loss may happen on scalp or beard or moustache or in body. It seems to be baldness but it's not baldness. Hair loss may be look like a coin or round shape or irregular in shape. It may start from bottom to up or up to bottom and coin shaped hair loss in beard. Alopecia is considered an autoimmune disease in which the autoimmune system which designed to protect the body from foreign invaders such as viruses and bacteria mistakenly attacks the hair follicles, the tiny cup-shaped structure from which hair grow. And this can lead to hair loss on the scalp and anywhere else. In many cases, hair falls out in small round patches about the size of a quarter. In some cases and few cases, the disease does not extend beyond the bare patches hair loss is more extensive. Although uncommon, the disease can progress to cause total loss of hair on head, referred to alopecia totalis, the complete hair loss on scalp, sometime in body and beard mush also, that is so called alopecia universalis. Now we will see the reason now for alopecia areata. In alopecia areata, the immune system cells called white blood cells attack the rapidly growing cells in the hair follicles that makes the hair. The affected hair follicles become small and drastically slow down the hair production. Fortunately, the stem cells that continuously supply the follicle with new cells do not seem to be targeted. So the follicle always has potential to regrow the hair. Actually, doctors do not know the exact what causes the hair loss. But they suspect that a combination of gene and predispose some people to the disease. In those who are genetically predisposed some type of trigger, perhaps a virus or something in person's environment brings on the attack against the hair follicles. In psychological fact, most of the person, people, feels this will spread to the others, but this is not true. And it's not feel a social withdrawal. They may started to feel social withdrawal, but no need to hesitate to expose because this is not a contagious disease. So nothing to worry about alopecia areata, totalis or partialis. You may ask. Alopecia areata is a serious illness? Definitely not. Alopecia areata is not a life-threatening disease. First of all, you need to understand one thing. It does not cause any physical pain and people with the condition are generally healthy otherwise. But most of the people see that unpredictably affect their appearance the way alopecia areata does is a serious matter. The effect of alopecia areata are primarily socially and emotionally disturbing the peoples. In alopecia universalis, however, loss of eyelashes and eyebrows and hair in the nose, ears and body can make a person more vulnerable to dust, germs and foreign particles entering the eyes, nose and ears. Alopecia areata often occurs in people whose family members have other autoimmune diseases such as diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, thyroid disease, SLE, systemic lupus erythematosus, pernicious anemia or additions disease. People who have alopecia areata does not usually have other autoimmune diseases but they do have higher occurrence of thyroid disease or atopic eczema or nasal allergies and asthma. And 
those who are affected with alopecia areata their major question is may i get my hair back there is every chance that your hair loss will regrow but it may also fall out again no one can predict when it might regrow or fall out the cause of the disease varies person to person some people losses just in a few patches of hair then their hair regrow and the condition never reoccurs other people continue to loss and regrow for many years yeah few loss all the hair on the head some losses all the hair or on their head and face and body even in those who lost all the hair the possibility for the full regrowth remains that you need to mind then what can i do if i have alopecia areata partialis or barbe see someone take steroidal injection they may get hair again they may experience hair loss but there are so many complications and side effects because of steroidal injection therapy in homeopathic system of medicines we have symptomatic homeopathic medicine to treat alopecia areata alopecia partialis and alopecia totalis but the result may vary person to person so symptomatic homeopathic treatment helps for alopecia areata in homeopathic doctor will collect all the symptoms if the collect, uh, collected symptoms is suitable along with the particular medicine then they prescribe that constitutional symptomatic homeopathic medicine that may helps for you so if you have alopecia areata no need to hesitate to consult a homeopathic doctor you need to approach a homeopathic doctor with the confident symptomatic homeopathic medicines that promotes the hair growth and that helps to regrow the hair in patches so without any hesitation you may approach any homeopathic doctor for alopecia areata treatment thank you all happy